Hey guys, I hope you're ready for days of satisfying whole house cleaning. We're going to be tackling some real life messes, deep cleaning, and so much more. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to do this together. Hey friends, welcome to Jamie's Journey. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. Truly, thank you. I appreciate you. If you are brand new here, welcome, 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 welcome. We have an amazing community here and we are welcoming you with open arms. We have a lot we're going to be doing in today's video. It is a whole house clean with me. So I'm going to be tackling rooms all over the house. There's some deep cleaning I'm going to tackle lots of real life messes and just lots of cleaning motivation so i hope when you leave when this video is done i hope you're feeling good you're feeling motivated you're ready to tackle another week you can do it you can handle whatever comes your way so a lot we're going to be doing in today's video i hope you're ready All right, this is day one of cleaning. I am starting out in our bathroom and I kind of have two different ways that I clean the bathroom. Well, I guess really three ways. So one is just like the, the most basic clean. So I do that at least weekly. I'll come in here and literally just wipe down the countertops, the mirrors and do a quick vacuum and that is it. I do that weekly. This is the second tier, I guess. And it's I come in and I actually do a little bit more cleaning. So here I'm obviously cleaning the shower, which I hate cleaning, but I'm just doing like a super quick clean. I have my O-Cedar mop and mop bucket, just doing like a super clean. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna get every nook and cranny in here, but I am just doing a super quick clean. And then after that, you obviously have a deep clean. So this is kind of like the middle tier when it comes to cleaning the bathroom. So I just filled up my mop, mop bucket. I had sprayed the shower with Dawn Power Wash. Most of the time I will use Dawn Platinum and water and spray that, but I'm out of it. So I'm just using the um, Dawn Power Wash and just mop in the shower to get it pretty clean.
So if you're watching this on Sunday when it goes live or even Monday or whenever, I hope your past weekend was good. I hope it was equal parts productive and relaxing. I hope you had time to recharge. I think that's really important. Um, since I'm filming this and doing the voiceovers before the weekend that it goes live, um, I'll talk about last weekend talking about having a weekend that's kind of equal parts productive, fun, relaxing. I had a, we had a really, really good weekend last weekend. So on Friday night, Mike and I went to his work holiday party. They kind of delay it until after the new year. And so um, his office is a little over two hours away. He works fully remote, so he doesn't really ever have to go into the office. So his office is about a little over two hours away. So we went, the girl stayed with my parents overnight. They actually went sledding because we had gotten some snow the day we were leaving. So um, we had a really, really fun evening with his coworkers. We stayed the night, we woke up, and I'll talk about the surprise that I woke up to the next morning here in a little bit when I talk about good week and bad week but we got home and most of the time if we've ever went away overnight for any particular reason it's usually on a Saturday not a Friday so we got home and I thought it was a Sunday but then we just had Saturday and we really didn't have anything to do so I was able to get home unpack do laundry um, do some cleaning and then we had a movie night that night it just threw me off because like not we don't go away very often at all but if we do it's usually on a Saturday so I was thrown off and it just felt nice to felt it felt like we had an extra day and so um, on Sunday the twins had a soccer game but then we did a lot of relaxing we watched some football so it was a really really good weekend and I hope you get weekends like that sometimes. I know we all don't get the, those weekends especially as parents as moms but it's nice when you get get to kind of do all of that on a weekend. So speaking of this house, I had the craziest dream last night. I don't dream very often, and when I do, I don't often remember it, but last night, I don't know what it was. I had a very, very vivid dream that we were moving, and I was not happy at all. Like, we had already, like, we wanted to move. And by the way, we have never, ever thought about moving in. We do not want to move again. We've never talked about it, so I can't figure out where this came from, but I had a dream that we wanted to move we found a house we actually closed on the house and when we're walking through the house right before we get the keys i was i started to like freak out like oh my gosh i don't want this house did we make a bad decision and i was like walking through the house and being like we're gonna have to paint the cabinets and i don't like the flooring and we're gonna have to get all new carpet like the carpet was pink in this house I, I woke up I'm like what is the root of this dream we have never talked about moving at all I'm not worried that we'll ever have to move again but I just can't like I always like to get to the root of the psychology of a dream like what is like where did this come from I didn't watch anything before bed about moving but it was such a vivid dream and I woke up it was one of those situations where you know when you're dreaming and it's something that you don't want to happen and you're like please be a dream please be a dream i think this is a dream and i remember in the dream thinking to myself i think this is a dream i wish i could just wake up i know i'm being a little dramatic because it, we're talking about moving it's not like i was being kidnapped or anything but i just did not want to move and i was like i just want my old house so it was just a very very vivid dream
but I'll stop talking here for a minute. You guys can listen to some music and watch me clean, but I'll explain the surprise that I woke up to on Saturday morning when I talk about good week and bad week. Another day, some more cleaning, but today I was planning on tackling some deep cleaning. I had a lot of messes I wanted to clean up, and then the main thing I was going to do was, oh, here you're going to see, look what I found. I had removed our blankets, and I found a scrunchie and an Ohio State hair bow in our, in our bed, and I have no idea how long that had been there. I'm like, you know, as the kids have gotten older, I find less surprises. If you guys have been around for a while, I used to always find stuff in the most random places. Like, I'd find random stuff in the fridge, random stuff in the pantry. I think that happens when you have young children. But my kids are getting older now. I don't find as many of those surprises anymore. But of course, I still find some surprises, like um, scrunchies and hair bows in the bed. I'm assuming it was the girls a lot of or sometimes will want to watch a movie in our bed so I'm assuming it was from the previous weekend but anyways um, here real quick what I'm going to do is use my Bissell Hydro Steam. It's a carpet cleaner with an upholstery tool to clean the headboard so I try to point it out. It's really hard to tell but there is some spots on the the headboard and it's from I've talked about this a couple videos ago when Mike and I sit up here and watch TV I love watching TV in bed he'll sit he sits up I kind of lay down he sits up and he rests his head on the headboard and it's probably from his hair the oils from his head I know that probably sounds gross but it's not you can't really see it that much on camera but I promise you it's there so I was going to use this carpet cleaner um, to clean it So here I'm using the Bissell Revolution, Revolution with Hydro Steam. So it's a carpet cleaner. I'm obviously using the attach, the upholstery attachment tools here. Um, but what's really cool with this carpet cleaner is you can clean your carpets like a normal carpet cleaner. But there's also a steam mode, which can help um, with stains. It's just an added cleaning feature that I've never seen before on a carpet cleaner. So that's really cool. But anyways, so bad week. I woke up Saturday morning. Again, we were two hours away at a hotel and I woke up and my eye was completely swollen. I looked like I'd gotten punched in the face, which I'm like, of course, we're out of town. So we left the hotel. I put my hood up. I was like, we're going to think that I got into a fight. But what it was, was two, a couple days before we left, my right eye 
was irritated and it was because of the dry air. Our air has been so dry hair, dry. It has been so dry here that the girls have been getting bloody noses and the my right eyelid just got really red, inflamed. It w looked just like really bad dry skin and I was putting like heavy heavy creams, lotions, Vaseline on it and it really wasn't helping at all. So I wake up on Saturday morning, I could barely see. My eye was just completely swollen and red and <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. It didn't hurt, but it just felt very irritated, but I had looked like I had gotten punched in the face. And so we left, we got home. Luckily we're just around the house all day. We had nowhere to go, so that was good. And um, so I'd reached out to my friend who's a nurse practitioner and she had suggested putting some hydrocortisone cream on it. So I started doing that and it was almost immediately better the next day. And then two days later, it was almost completely better but I could barely see, it was so irritated. And you know when your eye is irritated, it just, it's just, cause you, you wanna keep rubbing it, but you can't, it was just a pain. I'll try to add some pictures, but it looked like I had gotten punched in the face. So this problem, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little embarrassed to say that this mess, yes, was made by the kids. It was a few days after they made this mess. This mess had been sitting here for at least a couple of days and I had just gotten to the point, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't, I hadn't had the time, even the kids, there were just other, other, there were other things like homework and activities that had to be put first, other commitments, and... I know that sounds horrible, but it's the honest truth. And so I just got to a point, they were in school this day and I was afraid that if we let the popcorn sit for too long, maybe it would attract bugs. So I was just going to clean it up. But I had a nice long chat with the girls about making messes, cleaning up after themselves, and they're not gonna be able to eat down here until they can prove to me that they know how to eat. Um, and not make huge messes or clean up after themselves. Here, I am just cleaning this one cushion. There was some chocolate on it, which was not because of the girls. It actually showed up on New Year's Eve when we had people over. So because I had this carpet cleaner, um, I had already been using it the day, I thought I'd take it downstairs and clean that chocolate spot that I had been putting off. Again, still embarrassing that I had let a chocolate stain on our couch for this long, but you know what? It is what it is, but I don't mind, you know, my kids clean up after themselves every single day in some aspect, but I'm also their parent. Of course, I clean up after them as well. But the one thing that drives me crazy is, you know, I don't mind cleaning toilets. I don't mind picking up for them occasionally, as long as they're respectful, as long as they clean up after themselves, as long as they don't expect it. Of course, I don't mind cleaning up after themselves from time to time. But when I have to clean up disasters, or uh, messes that it just seems like nobody even cared. Um, that's what really bothers me. So, um, you know, they're kids. Popcorn can be messy, but it was just everywhere. So we had a nice long chat. They won't be eating down here for a while until they can prove that this mess will, it won't be like this. Um, you know, I don't mind an occasional popcorn or whatever on the floor. So I was just cleaning it all up. I was using my Tinco eye floor vacuum mop to clean it all up off of the rug and then down there.
I love my wet dry vacuums. They come in handy so much. I mean, I personally think that nothing beats a regular vacuum and a good mop, but when it comes to the vacuum mops, they're just, they just save me so much time and I end up using them all of the time. Okay, so here I was going to pop into the twins room. Yes, I'm cleaning up after my kids again. Um, I know I don't need to explain myself, but it is a comment I get often if I am seen cleaning up the girls room. Um, but I was just in one of those moods. I just wanted the house to be clean. And honestly, so here I did have, you're not going to see me clean Avery's room or bathroom. I did have her clean her bathroom, which she did a really, really good job, and her room. She kind of gets out of more cleaning than the twins do because the twins are home Monday and Friday. Um, so they're home two days a week and they end up helping me clean a lot. And with Avery, she's gone all day at school. She's involved in more activities. She has homework. She has reading that we do prioritize over cleaning. So with her, you know, we have set amount of chores she does have to do every single day but she does the chores and that's, you know, what she has to do. The twins, um, I have age appropriate chores for them, but I would say most of the time their job is just to help me out with whatever I need and they're just around more. So they end up helping me out a lot. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to surprise them. And what melts my heart the most is their gratitude. I did this when they got home from school. Addison, ran back downstairs after she looked at her the room and she gave me a huge hug and she goes thank you so much mommy I love our room you decorated my bed so so good and then Emery ended up saying something before bed how much she loved how I decorated her room and she said thank you so you know sometimes it's just nice to go in there and surprise them and I think gratitude goes a long way as a parent at least it goes a long way for me Despite me cleaning their rooms, I, when they're off of school on Friday, I'm going to make them clean under their beds. So this bed, full of stuff, full of toys. And I'm pretty sure all of this stuff ended up here because I had them clean their room last week. It was on Friday. And I'm pretty sure they shoved everything under their bed. Um, well, there's a lot under this bed. There's nothing under this bed. I'm not sure if this was on purpose, purpose, if they together shoved everything under one bed or if it was just one girl who put everything under her bed and the other one cleaned, I don't know what it is. But when they're off on Friday, I'm gonna make them get under here and clean and put everything away. Nice try, girls. Nice try. <laughs> We were crazy in love, careless and young, but I wouldn't change it. You had me right from the start, you gave me your all, but something changed, yeah. And I know, I know, I know, I sometimes drive you crazy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I sometimes drive you crazy and i think that's why you've been building up this wall now and i don't really know how i'm supposed to break it down i tried peeking through the cracks saw the light but couldn't catch it now okay so good week <laughs> that was a big delay so obviously bad week wait i woke up with a swollen eye irritated inflamed but the good week was was that I got a nice 
night away with my husband no distractions so obviously like i said we went to his work party um, but we had a little bit time before a little bit time after just because like we got home we got back to the hotel and it was like okay well we don't have to get up with kids or anything in the morning so we just kind of watched tv we relaxed we had some snacks and just knowing that we could wake up have a slow morning the next day it just it was just a really good evening a slow evening a fun evening relaxing evening and it just kind of like recharges you just to kind of get away from the day-to-day -day. um even if it's just for one night i mean i think we were gone less than 24 hours so that was definitely part of the good week I tried peeking through the cracks Saw the light but couldn't catch it Now the one that's breaking down You should let me love you But you're making it so hard to You've been building up this wall now And I don't really know how I'm supposed to break it down I I should also add that us being able to get away and just kind of relax we're also very grateful that we have you know our parents so mike and i grew up in the same hometown both of our parents still live in that hometown which is about 20 minutes away from where we currently live and both of our parents love being grandparents and they want our kids as often as they can get them they're often begging for our kids to spend time and mike and i both grew up with two sets of grandparents who were close by as well and we spent a lot of time with our grandparents spending the night doing different things they were very involved in our lives and our parents I mean our parents go to every single one of the girls games all three of them they're there Avery had a softball game a couple weeks ago at 7 30 in the morning and so you know my parents were probably leaving the house at 6 45 in the morning um so it just helps if you get away knowing your kids are safe they're having fun um it just it makes it a little bit easier so we are very grateful for that Finally, I have my kids help me clean up. <laughs> Obviously making a joke here. So um, this is one room you probably won't see me clean up for them very often. The rooms I usually don't mind because we try to keep minimal toys out of the twins room because they don't really need, they don't really need toys in there, number one. And I just try to limit the toys or things in their rooms because it just creates more of a mess when we have a designated playroom plus this room is connected to a jack and jill bathroom that's connected to their room now avery 
does have toys in her room, but they're Barbies. We wanted to give her a space where, you know, the twins aren't allowed to go in Avery's room unless she invites them into her room. So Avery's room does get a little bit more messy because of her Barbie stuff, but I think it's important that she keeps her Barbie stuff separate from the twins. So, um, yeah, this is one room I usually make them help me clean. Addison is in an old... I think it was passed down by someone. It's an old Ohio State football jersey, obviously, or it's a costume, um, like a Halloween costume from years ago that she decided to put on, which I thought was kind of cute. But yeah, they were helping me clean this up. Um, and then Mike was going to put them to bed. And then I was going to quickly wipe down their bathroom and... There was another, I guess, real life mess in there. I had walked in there, which I don't go into their bathroom very often, but I walked in there and there was a huge mess in the garbage. Now, to be fair, I think it was from, they, the girls did eat lunch. Avery had some friends over a couple of days ago because they had a day off of school. She had two friends over and the friends are older. And so they ate lunch in the playroom because they were watching a movie. And I think they just kind of put all of their garbage in there. Um, but it was just overflowing. So yeah. And then I found a cup behind the toilet. <laughs> I'm like, I, oh, life with kids, I guess. So you probably you guys probably couldn't tell but in this video I was moving so slow so I've told you that I've been really working on doing more strength training lifting weights I've been doing that I'll be honest I did not start it as soon as I had wanted to because I kept putting it off and I kept doing different cardio workouts but then finally I bit the bullet and I've been really sticking to some workouts and I am sore so sore which is not fun but honestly I kind of like it because it makes me it shows me that wow you really are working your muscles and I can feel the muscles that I'm working and it does feel good because since I'm a runner and I run so consistently I'm very I'm like almost never sore because I tend to run anywhere from like three and a half to six and a half miles when I run. And so that's just kind of like, sometimes I'll do some sprints, but for the most part, I just don't get, I don't get sore because my muscles already knew, they already know what they're doing. And so with strength training, I'm working different muscles and I'm making my body move in a different way. And so I'm proud of myself for doing something that I don't necessarily enjoy. The more I do it, the more I enjoy it. That's just how I am as a person. So um, I've been keeping up with it and I've started to enjoy it a little bit more. I'm definitely someone who likes my comfort zone and I know how important it is to step out of that comfort zone. So I'm proud of myself.
house was clean was clean at some point this week the whole house is not clean right now because rooms never stay clean when you have three kids um it's not too bad it's just a little messy but really like when I get to do these whole house cleans I don't do them very often just because it I don't know like most of the time I'm limited on time I have to prioritize and to be honest there's certain rooms that just don't get too dirty or too messy um but it kind of forces me i try to do a whole house clean once a month honestly i don't always get to clean the whole house every single month um but i at least try to do a whole house clean once a month because it just i feel like it just kind of resets the house um so like just in my brain i'm like okay did you do a whole house clean last month um, have you done one? I'm always thinking about that when I'm just trying to think of, okay, what am I doing this week? And I just, when I get to do these whole house cleans, for me, it just resets the whole house. And it just feels good that those rooms, like the office, that I don't clean too often. It doesn't really get messy or dirty. Or even the dining room, um, like whenever we're done eating in there, which we don't eat in there too often on a regular basis, but we do. We almost always wipe down the table and vacuum under the table. Um, so really, there's really not a lot to clean in there um, very often, but it just feels good to tackle those rooms that have been neglected or haven't been cleaned, so I feel good. Um, but let's see. Okay, this is, this video, so this video will be the last video that goes up in January, and in February, I want to start doing some more organizing. I kind of did a few here in projects in January and I'm like, okay, let's take a breather. And I wanna do at least a couple more maybe in February. And then I'll probably start thinking about spring cleaning, which is insane because I didn't spring clean last year because we had just moved into the house. So there was nothing to clean. So to be honest with you, I'm a little excited to do some spring cleaning. And I already know there are some areas that need to be spring clean. So um, that's kind of coming up. I got to kind of think of what I want to organize the most. I mean, I feel like I have a lot of areas that I want to tackle with organization. But again, I'm trying to take it slow so I don't overwhelm myself. The kitchen might be on my list because... Well, I have a lot of areas, it's like we use the kitchen every single day and you guys, the cabinets are a disaster. <laughs> like they, they truly are. Um, it's just a result of moving in and just kind of like throwing stuff in the cabinets and there's really just no organization. Um, things, things are just kind of shoved up there. So that might be on my list, but I don't know. I'll take some time and really think about what I want to tackle. Um, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here, hanging out with me all week long as I got some cleaning done and I hope it made your day. I hope you feel motivated and I'm just grateful to have you guys here.
especially if you stayed here till the end and are listening to me ramble on. So I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic week. Just know that whatever comes your way, you will be able to tackle it. You will handle it. You will get through it and you'll be stronger when you come out on the other side. So hang in there. We got this, we're in this together and I will see you guys next week. Bye.